Hey, uh, I'm here with Christian from SMFB Engine. Mm -hmm. uh, could you perhaps start by telling me what you do at SMFB? I have no idea, <laughs> really. <laughs> I'm just the Icelandic guy in the team. Yeah. No, I, um, um, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff for great clients. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, been a very fascinating time over the past year since we started this. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, kind of reinventing a bit myself uh, in relation to uh, online communications and uh, yeah, because you're an old, uh, or not old in that way, but you used to work with uh, SEO for a while. That's my original uh, kind of uh, technical background. Yeah, uh, studied uh, electronics and then moved to IT and, and stuff like that programming a little bit and, and, and that and then uh, moved from there um, early late last century realized yeah. that uh, uh, that you could play around with the, the online stuff and that was great and uh, and then slowly just been uh, taking over all, all kinds of other topics which are really nice and it's, it's a very lively world we live in yeah because I really like that you come from a technical background where people in your business are usually from a more theoretical background mm. where uh, especially around the world of content and marketing and digital marketing yeah. you have a more technical viewpoint yeah and um, you were also nominated for the uh, content king of the year yeah yeah that's, congratulations that's, uh, with you. that thanks yeah that's good yeah <laughs> do you have any tips or tricks to share with fellow marketers trying to comprehend what content marketing is about and how you can actually succeed working with it well I know it's a big question. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah I get it. Uh, but my, my kind of first take on that is that I haven't even gotten what content marketing is still. People keep telling me all kinds of things. Uh, my take on it personally is that content marketing in general is about anything that is content related. It could be a banner or it could be a, 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 a article in the paper or I don't know, it's just content in general. The main thing about the content though is that you ha it has a purpose. And, and for me, there needs to be kind of like a KPI attached to the content. Yeah. Having content for the content's purpose uh, makes no sense to me, at least, a very little sense. So before you enter into that approach, you need to kind of have build that into your, into your methodology of how you're going to use content as a part of your communications. And I think personally that, that if you tie it all together, and I think that's the big picture here. Yeah is that, that if you look at uh, Facebook, uh, Google, uh, Diane's 90s leave for that matter, or, or Vege or something, uh, the TV, uh, YouTube, uh, uh, I don't know, all these different channels, they all play a part in a, in a very big ecosystem. And if you under, understand where you're going to use uh, different approaches within that ecosystem, uh, using content for that, uh, you kind of know what you're doing. So you have to have some kind of KPIs to begin with, like measurements, what are you measuring up against, what's the end goal here and so yeah. on. But then kind of use that as a part of this uh, ongoing communications with the client or the consumer. How, how, how do you go about to define the KPIs? Because unfortunately I know a lot of marketers base KPIs on Facebook or around content in general around engagement and that's all. Okay, yeah. so we have... Um, Take a look here, and I'm going to draw a picture. So basically, uh, if we take B2B aside, so let's just look at D2C. B2C yeah. yeah. So you have uh, consumers. Um, now let's actually keep B2B in there. So we have customers also. And, and basically, if we take um, a, a company that is selling a product that is sold by another one, so yeah. it's, it's a manufacturer of a product, yeah. that is kind of a consumer product, but the people that buy it are actually the customers. So there might be Rema Thusund or Rimi or Rema yeah. or whatever they're called, Kiwi, Lime, no, they, 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 they've, they've gone. Uh, <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you have the consumers and the consumers go into the customers which are the stores and they buy the product and therefore they create a demand uh, from uh, the manufacturer. Yeah. Then how can you influence the consumer in, uh, in uh, um, in selling more products, uh, in, in buying more products, so influencing the customer to buy more stuff. 
And that is kind of one KPI. So the one KPI might just yeah, have a visibility of the product. We are launching something. We just have, want to have massive vis visibility because we want people to have it top of mind. Yeah. And therefore, they go into the store and they think about it when they go in there. When you have a market like Norway, which is a lot like the market I come from, which is Iceland, 16 times smaller, but it's still a nice market. Uh, you have a couple of guys that might own the, the, real, the, the market of, of, of products yeah. like that. Yeah. So, um, uh, and those guys have a, a limited number of shelf space. So they, they might not have a, a lot of shelf space for all kinds of, of, of whatever, yogurts or, or, or candies, chocolates or whatever. Okay. So they have to kind of uh, prioritize based upon sales and the product that is kind of in demand and so on. So by constantly working on the consumer, you're kind of pushing them to go in there and ask for uh, uh, the, the, the and product. And make, yeah. And make demands and yeah. So this is not a new thing. Uh, like everybody knows this. Yeah. But the the thing about this is that 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 what is we're kind of at a, at a bit of a junction now because I think we are still trying to cramp all communications into old models. Yeah. Uh, I had a very interesting uh, visit to uh, uh, communication models, and I had a very interesting uh, uh, trip to uh, uh, a very nice. Uh, uh, creative agency which is known worldwide for their work and, and it's, a, it's a great to go there, it was fantastic. And uh, one story I was told that, 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 that you should not mention Kotler and Kotler is uh, this famous, uh, he wrote yeah, this yeah. fantastic book and did it and all that and, and, and all. But because the reason why that they don't think it's relevant anymore is that, that though there are some fundamentals, you should constantly be reinventing yourself. If that makes sense, I don't know if, 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 I'm, if I'm making any sense. Here. So, so what is happening here is that that now with all these different channels that we have out there, we now have a unique opportunity to talk to consumers, not from a mass product, mass uh, uh, communication point of view, but f from even close to one-to-one -one communication point of view, and that is an unparalleled. Uh, uh, opportunity and, uh, and power that, that we have yeah. uh, in, in, in the way that we communicate. And the reason why we have this is that Facebook is the way that they build up, Google is the way that they build up, and so on and so on. So all these different uh, uh, entities have their approach. Uh, I think uh, Veke has something called Smart Ads, if I remember correctly, uh, then, then uh, Facebook has their way of, of targeting yeah. demographics and so on. That. So, for us to be able to utilize that, you have to think about the way that you talk to the consumer because now you can do it, you can be relevant to the right people at the right time yeah. when they are open for it, basically, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's where the KPIs kick in. So that's kind of like a long answer to your <laughs> question. So the KPIs need to be set from that point of view. Like you need to set the KPIs based upon that point of view. Okay, so then, we have different types of, 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 of approaches where the customer actually is also the consumer. Yeah. Basically, like if you're selling travel, ag uh, travel agents or selling uh, uh, um, travel agents are selling trips to us to go to Spain or whatever, uh, we are the end uh, uh, customer, but then we consume the product also. Yeah. yeah. So ba basically, then the motel is basically the same, but we are approaching it uh, from a uh, one level up kind of approach. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even making my sense to myself. <laughs> but but I, I, I think I've tried to explain it as much as I can. The main thing here is that, that we should try uh, as marketeers to set certain types of uh, set KPIs that are relevant to our business needs or business goals yeah. to the bottom line. And those KPIs should be the driving force of the way that we communicate through whatever content it is. And media. Or if whatever media, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. And I, I would be the last guy to say that, 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 uh, that uh, digital is the end and the beginning of everything. Yeah. Uh, it is close to, and I believe that we haven't still tapped into the uh, powers of it uh, no. properly. But, uh, but it doesn't matter what media you use as long as it's relevant to the ones that are consuming your content. Yeah. Basically. Did that make any sense? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so now I'm going to challenge you and see if you can leave 
our fans and mm. our followers with one tip, yeah. restrict it to one sentence. Yeah. If if you can do that. Yeah. So you're not going to tell me the sentence. I'm supposed nope. to say. Yeah. yeah, 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 to yeah, yeah. The camera. Okay, okay. It's going to be one sentence. I mean, I'm going to show you a picture here, and hopefully you will be able to see it. But he can scan this in. Yeah, I'll make it digital. So this is the sentence. Post. P O S T. People, objectives, strategy, technology. Okay, so don't choose technology first. Start by looking at the people, then come up with the objectives, then the strategy, and by that end you choose the technology platform and so on. I applaud you. Awesome. Thank it? you very much. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Thanks. No worries. Good stuff. Good speech.